So they have some chest here. They have some tool racks. Okay. Sleeping. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Of course, it's not going to become morning. Just set the bed. Because, of course, all it's online. So there you go. Uh, this is our new bed. This is our new bed slot. Oh, man. There's so much to do. Uh, we kind of have our, our bedroom se separated out here. And the reason for doing so is kind of like our caches. You know, it's it's a hidden... It's like we were here. We blocked off a bunch of caves. Hey, nothing to see here. We've just, just been blocking off caves. No problem, right? Uh, so the idea is, should we be raided and everybody be in our face, we... Uh, have a chance of coming back and defending ourselves and defending our home, you know. Uh, so the idea basically is that uh, we're going to be able to have a battle chest. <clears throat> oh, ho, ho. He wasn't looking for stuff from us. We have found graphite. Okay, in all all honesty, we found graphite, but it's been tight. They were just saying last night, uh, Falaron was just saying last night, guys, if you see graphite, get it, get it, get it. I told him it's been scarce. I desire to make sure Ray isn't too far ahead and guarantee iron for all, so I have a cord for graphite you can have. I completely trust Alt- Thank you. I will gladly take it and pass it along. Uh, you have plenty? Then? Uh, Alt has been, is, is a main scouter. I mean, that's just, you know, he likes to uh, be the one to go and get stuff, you know. He likes to go and get stuff and kind of keep putting things forward for the team. And so I do not doubt that that's just like a base that he has come across all right let's let's start consolidating my i will take Damn. that and pass it on alt is a good guy he is also a um he he was the one who was the most uh, he was uh, well he was on i shouldn't say he was the one who was the most hurt i because i don't know that i can't i know that their team in general was very ticked off by the whole raid because it's disheartening and you know the raid is part of is part of the game uh, and everybody knows that going in just like we you know they could raid in turn but they it was it was pretty harsh he alt was the one who was online when it happened and he feels a particular responsibility like he did something to let his team down he did nothing to let his team down it would have happened no matter what was it uh blackberries that i put in there haha -ha. smart woman it would have happened no matter what but i understand that sense of of guilt and responsibility so he was definitely uh, hurting over this whole thing. And he was one of the ones who was gathering all the stuff and just, I mean, he spent like 30 hours that last, um, that la just before they were raided, making a big push on their, um, on their iron, on their blue steels and stuff. So yeah, I do not think that'll be a trick, although I will be sure that everybody knows where the information came from, so there can be caution, but let's see. Let's see what he said. I've gotten two sets of 12 stacks out of there, and there is more. There'll be an, uh, there will be an alpha of dirt break in, be an alpha of dirt break in and follow. Tell Alt Blue, thank you so much. I will pass it along. I know he's really, really stressed. I'm going to type that in like right now onto our document. So give me a second. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Oh my goodness. This has been so disjointed. All right. So from the beginning, this is... Our new bed spot. We have just been given information from Alt Blue about graphite, which I want to update the team on. I am running around and uh, collecting all sorts of uh, 
plants and stuff that are juicy, ripe, and delicious. I saw some more. Yeah, right over here. I saw some more because I'm going to need to cut away a ton of rotten food. Now, elderberries don't hurt, so I can just step in there. I'm going to need to cut away a ton of rotten food. And I am going to need... Oh, I got to cl click this up. And, uh, of course, do a round of cooking, etc. So people have meals again. And, yeah. <clears throat> it, uh, it's just going to be one of those get stuff together. And then I'm going to keep working on on the iron. On the iron ingots. Just, you know, the pig iron. Oh, my goodness. The pig iron is a never-ending, never-ending thing. Uh, I am absolutely thrilled with Alt giving us some graphite locations because as of last night, that was critical. We're going to want to be very careful when we go, though, because even though I do trust Alt and I do not expect any kind of an ambush, I also know that other people on the team may possibly have that location and may not know that that's, you know, given up. He obviously feels comfortable sharing and i am happy to whoops <laughs> to fall in the hole with the with the chicken i am happy to pass on that information so yeah i am just going to be gathering food going to be doing stuff I'll, you know a lot of the videos are, are just i mean it's so repetitive it's the same thing but that's i mean there's a two week time frame see i knew we had more blueberries over here it's a two week time frame and there's a pvp content and you know component in the end so we have to push for, uh, I'm yumping up and down and I'm not going to be getting nothing. <laughs> we have to push for, for steel. We have to push for those things so that we have a chance, you know, the end of the, of the two weeks to come out on top, which we really have not, we really have not done planning. Um, and this is just, you know, PVP attack planning. This is not my forte. I, I do not at all even remotely feel comfortable saying, yeah, you hear, you hear, you hear. Now I can, <clears throat> like in, in the, in the middle of the battle, I feel, I mean, I feel comfortable saying, okay, okay, okay. Hey, we need you guys over here or focus on this or whatever. Ooh, nice. But, uh, nice. I knew that was a big load too. That's fabulous. Okay, now I can fill in a little one here and there. Look at all that rot. But I don't feel comfortable like going, hey, you know, um, this is what we should do on the finale because I, 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 I'm not sure. Our finale is going to be an interesting thing as it is. It's going to be um, a, a, a basically this big sphere that's got, uh, you know, cobble sphere, solid sphere with some bedrock above and below uh, a ledge that's got some, uh, that's got some sponge in the middle. And we're supposed to, oh, hi, Elderberry. And we're supposed to, you know, uh, get the, get the sponge off up to our monument. Well, that's a peachy thing. Um, except, you know, there's three sponges and four teams. And everybody wants to be the number one team. And people are going to have different amounts of gear and different stuff. And it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a race. And at the same time, it's going to be a slaughter. And some people might just rush in there and get out before, before I know what's what, you know? <laughs> and, um, and that elderberry harvest was fabulous this year. So, um, <laughs> ow, run by pricking. So yeah, there's, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of, uh, of tedium stuff. So yeah, a lot of the videos, I'm sure I'm just going to edit out some of the just flat out, I'm hammering more stuff, you know, but we'll see. Ooh, plums and lemons. Yes. Sweet plums and lemons. There's another partial stack. I can put these elderberries away. Sweet. All right. Well, let's get a round of plums and lemons. I'm about to do some cooking. Might as well have some fresh, fresh fruits to go in the pot. Yeah, it's, it's pretty intense right now with what all we're trying to do. And at the same time, everybody, uh, you're, you're full. You can go there. Everybody is a little bit nervous. I am really comfortable at this stage in the game with what we've done. 
But I feel like the moment we're raided and everything goes wrong, it's going to be like, oh, why didn't you do this? Or why didn't you do that? Or how, how could you not see that coming? So yeah, it's really, really, really nerve wracking. Uh, and like I said, uh, there's a little bit, it's a little bit of just, of just fun. You know, I mean, everybody's trying to have a little bit of fun along the way. That's, that's the point. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about my team is everybody has a very, uh, a very seriously, I punched you guys. Come on server. There you go. Drop me some lemons. Um, I, everybody's been very positive and everybody is really, uh, about having a good experience and having fun and, uh, you know, getting raided is part of that experience. The nervousness of the possibility of getting raided is part of that experience. Uh, but we're also, you know, a lot of us are friends and, um, you know, to, to still do stuff together and have, um, you know, and just want to have good content is an important thing too. So we're all trying to do our best to get done what we need to get done for the team. But, uh, you know, but also have a good time. I'm not going to take both trees. <clears throat> I'm only going to take one, basically one set. Uh, oh, you're 160. Yeah. I'm basically going to set take one set from each tree just over. Yeah. Like these just, just over around each. I'll clean up what I've dropped, but that's about it. Uh, Okay, I guess I already had cleaned up what I dropped. Or the server, yeah. Or the server's going to give it to me in a few moments. The lag has definitely been an extra la layer of pressure. Let me make sure I haven't missed something. Lapis purple armor for you. Oh, baby. We can beat up for it. That lasts 24 hours. <laughs> Oh, TFC Tuesdays, Pack and Alt got me leather and they made it shades of purple and pink and stuff. So there you go. I will take it. Uh, I know that's just a joke. He's not armoring me, but I thought it was funny. And if he throws some leather armor at me that's that's died, I would so love that. Okay, going to go back down and just work the food and stuff. I do want to take one more pit stop and uh, take a look at our cow floor. And the reason being is the cow floor, you guys, oh my word, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just like the never ending berry patch, man. Uh, the cow floor is, um, is sort of my, uh, it is my decorator's palette. Uh, Drac has worked really hard uh, to document and define various uh, stones and he's made them smooth and beautiful and he's put them in here for me to be able to go, hmm, I want this for my kitchen floor and this for my kitchen ceiling. And I told him, well, how about I just pick out a few colors and then you, you go with it. He's like, no, no. Basically, I know women. <laughs> you tell me. I want this for my ceiling and this for my floor and this for my counter and maybe a stripe of that and, and then he'll he will do it. So I've got to pick out what I want and it's really kind of hard because I mean I was expecting like you know four or five different maybe tops shades but we have a crap ton of it. I, I think he's got everything. I really like this the pink hint in that quartz. There's just um... There's so many choices. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, probably end the recording here. Uh, get some, just get to work, uh, on, you know, unless something else comes up and I'll come back with you guys. There's no, there's no buckets. Milk, milk, empty. Oh, oh, there's no buckets and there's no uh, Yesterday okay. I got to experience the pounding and the smithing um, and having things not be full or you know wow be full having things not be responsive oh my goodness you've got hot metal you only have so much time and you're like okay 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 i'm bending i'm punching hey hey you know where is it lighting up also i've got to experience the difference between uh the blast furnace yeah i i, I figured this was going to be a problem when the water was <laughs> We're staying parted. Okay. Between the blast furnace and the um, bloomery. On one hand, 
the bloomery are more steps. The bloomery is more steps. So that's kind of a pain because you have extra things that you have to do. You know, you take, you know, first you, you, you melt it down and then you take the bloom and you got to heat that up and work that and shape to make it refined. And then you got to do, the, you know, all the different steps. And the blast furnace is... You don't have that, you know, you, you do eventually just, you know, you get your, you melt it there. You have to set it up differently. But, you know, the idea is, hey, you can skip those extra steps and get right to your pig iron ingot. Except, come on, take my water, sucky sucky. Except, uh, one of the things that is a problem, thank you. One of the things that is a problem is the fact that, um... You can't let that sucker go. You have to stand there. Like, you can't do two things at once. You can't uh, trim. You can't hardly stop to to eat and drink because it is... Ooh, ooh, ooh that's full. Because it's just one of those... The, the temperature is so fritzy and delicate that all you are doing nonstop... I'm just trying to keep this organized, man. All you're doing nonstop is is grabbing more or, or pumping the bellows. Because if you don't, then it it's it's you know, sorry, you don't have your stuff done in time. So yeah, it it, it is definitely a pain. And then the whole working the sheet to a double sheet, working the double sheet, oh my goodness. I'm not so bad with the whole uh, whack a you know whack a mule uh, part of it where you're getting it to combine up. The worst of that is when you get so close, you know, uh, and not quite. That one was full. Yeah, you get so close and then not, and then not, uh, you know, miss it by just this little teeny tiny drop. So that's a little bit frustrating. At the same time. Um, that's part of it. I, I can actually handle that because you can kind of get into a groove. And the guy, dude, sucky, sucky. The guys were telling me that there's kind of a, a pattern that you can actually do that's consistent and it's always that way. Now, we don't know that pattern. Okay, let's let everything catch up, game. We don't know that pattern. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess there are ways that you can just go bam, 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 bam in, in a certain order. I actually kind of am... I don't really want to know that pattern. I mean, part of me wants to just go boom, boom, boom and, and get it done. I don't know that it would actually save that much time. Please, please game, respond. Alt is the only one on the server besides me. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and he is exploring and he's desperately looking for cows. Hey. Hey. Uh, that was clean, right? Yeah, that, that, that was clean. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm trying to stay clean for all of you. You're, you're, it's, you're fine. It's really hard on me. Did I you, swear a lot. Did, 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 did you see what I, what I put in there about the graphite? I did. Let do me we, check. Do we still need the graphite? Oh yeah, we do. Cause last I knew last night, graphite was like, Drac, no messing around, man. We need graphite. Okay. Mm. <laughs> And uh, yes. that is, I mean, pretty specific directions and everything. He said he's left it. He's done. So I kind of wonder if it's not a trap, but he's I, not on. So I don't think so because it's alt and because he gave me that information like five hours ago and he's already, you know, like however long ago it was. And uh, he's been moving on and exploring and everything else. Uh, oh, has he kind of given up? No, I don't think he's given up. I think he just wants to be sure that nobody else gives up, that, that there's going to be a fight at the end for Ray. you know? He basically told me, just in whispers, in-game, he's like... I, I, when he first asked me, he's like, so, uh, has your team uh, found graphite? And I'm like, hmm, how do I answer this delicately? So I'm like, it's been scarce, you know, just kind of... Because I'm like, are you trying... Oh, do you want me to sleep? <laughs> yeah, if you could. But I, I was actually just trying if I can actually whisper. <laughs> I was oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, the, the the tells. Yep. Uh, I actually saw uh, money say hun for the sleep, and I'm like, I don't know if Drag doesn't want to sleep, but I'm not going to sleep it. Oh look, look, look! We've got more berries to harvest. Um, 
Oh, bleh, bleh, bleh. I got pig iron in there, man. I better not have to redo all that crap. Uh, oh. Well, you don't have to sleep. No, I've already okay. walked away. I've already walked away. Oh, so I'll disconnect again. Uh. Hey! Holy crap! What was that? Oh, I think. Oh, I think that was a bat. I think that was a bat. I just came to punch dirt, and all of a sudden there was a high-pitched squeal where I killed something, and I'm like, "What the hell?" Okay, I'm I'm in bed. I'm in bed. I'm in bed. I'm up. Is it good? Perfect. Thank you. So apparently, I just killed a a bat. It's okay. I can nah, live. Okay. I can live with myself for killing a bat. Oh crap! Creeper right outside my window. Of course there is. So what are you on my door. for? Ten thousand blocks from home. Actually, I'm not ten thousand. I know from you're home. not I'm ten thousand. Uh, I'm just trying to throw them off our scent. No, I, uh, Buff and I were actually looking for enemy bases, but right now I'm I'm kind of lost. I have a boat, and that's about it. Well, Alt has been generating new terrain all over the place this morning. Uh, he's been doing. Um, Jeez, he's been uh, on the boat. He's because he's like, okay, I just lost my boat over the horizon, and I'm at like y, negative y sixty. Uh. I'm gonna have to make another one of those iron two thingies. Two yeah. The thingies. Another iron two yeah. Oh yeah, I, I already made another one this morning. Really? Did Did you see that we made another two double ingots of? Of uh, red steel. I saw that linked in there, and I also saw, of course, the beautiful anvil. I the saw black the beautiful uh, black anvil. Yeah, and uh, I've been making pig iron like crazy for y'all. I'm gonna have to pause in a second. Uh, we're down to very little um, of anything, but I'm about to use up all of the normal stuff, and I've already used some poor hematite just to round off the the regular stuff. So yeah, we are... um, there might still be some in the parkour. And that's what I was gonna vault. say. I'm not sure if there's any in our uh, set aside vaults, but we are actually just there's about definitely out. none in the honey pot because it's called the honey pot, by the way. Yeah, number one. I, I get, I get it. That the number <laughs> one, the number one cash is our honey pot. <clears throat> I can live with yeah. that. All right, and uh, it's written with two N, of course. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> the only way to spell <laughs> honey. Yep. <sighs> oh, this terrain generation back here is really beautiful. All right, y'all are still too hot. So I'm. Gonna and uh, so honey pot uh, is empty because I took this this morning. Took okay. it this morning. Well, yeah. Other we've than that, got poor. I mean, we got poor hematite, small hematite. Uh. We've got s tiny bit of small magnetite, small limonite, poor limonite, and one little thing of regular. Um, yeah. I'm about to do the last of the straight magnetite. But yeah, it's pretty much been... Um, everything that we have exposed, at least, is wiped out. And considering it takes, like, nine freaking pig iron for one piece of red steel or whatever for one red ingot or double ingot or whatever oh my goodness I've been talking to buffers about possible strategies for for the end Ellie. game I please don't take take this the wrong way but I don't like the idea of the, the finale be, you know why I'll hmm. tell you why I don't like the idea of the finale because it feels like the teamwork that's been going on during the week doesn't really matter that much. Because, sure, you can make some uh, red iron stuff, but you'll lose that as soon as you die. So, it kind of feels like I would have preferred some kind of, I don't know, count at the end. You know, who has the most gold bars or whatever. Right. But, I mean, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of the people like... Other people who are gonna be all whiny about it in the chat. Don't worry. Well, <laughs> first, I appreciate that. Uh, second, um, <laughs> you know, the thing is, is 
the when Ray and Pat came up with the whole thing, um, they really did want it to be representative of the team. They wanted it, you know, they tried to find something that had the team strategies where you guys got to work together to to kill or to protect and all that. Yeah, it's a hard, hard thing. Um, I oh, actually. That- after everything that you know, it seems like the more we try to make some interesting build or something, it almost is like, like, like what Drax said. You know what? Get us in there, gladiator style. Throw us in there for you know all of our teams, mm-hmm. decked out as they can be decked out, and whatever team lives. And it's like, yeah, uh, and yeah. You're not the only one who's thought about the the whole count thing. It's kind of what we do when it's over, is we go through and see what everybody had and look at their. Um, and yeah. look at their bases and say, yeah, I might, I I might have to miss that. I'm actually not sure I can be there for the finale, just so you know. Oh, no. Because I got exams on the, in the morning, and since the finale starts at 12 at night for me, it's... Uh, though the finale is not an extremely important one, I might not be able to. Well, that's, I mean, it's happened before where people haven't been able to be there. Hopefully you can be there even for a little bit, or at least, I'll- you know, have your ideas for how we're going to be awesome and totally get the sponge for second or third <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll, we'll definitely gonna have to uh, learn how to use um, s- supporting beams yeah I think supporting beams are a big part of it uh, since since we really can't do use the um, we really can't use the the whole big sulfur uh, explosions that was kind of part of the whole excitement of ooh new TFC, look at some of these new things they've got going, nah ha ha uh, <laughs> and then you can't even use them so that is definitely a, a disappointment because I know I was thinking about using them, Pac was obviously thinking about using them with his, uh, okay I gotta actually ask, is sulfur borked? You know, what's the deal here? So that's something we can't just do, um, you know Ray's probably gonna just try to dig straight to it and sprint, you know, and get straight out. Obviously, you can't sprint as the wool runner, but my biggest concern with the with the finale is the I am I express the same concern some other folks did about the um the sphere versus a hemisphere. I think if it was flat and not totally round, it would be more PvP inducing. You know, you could see somebody running out and go, Oh hey, they're sneaking. They've got you know, they've got the sponge and try to get over there to them and stuff. I don't know. I just feel like with it being a big round one, it could be hard to see who's on the other side of that big sphere. You Probably know? not even gonna have any one of us decked out in red steel. So might have like two people in black steel if possible. Who are like the designated Defenders or fighters. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to and have then, roles. Yeah, uh, you're yeah, and then other people in in because the the person who gets the sponge is basically the person who doesn't have to have armor, because once someone is on you, if your team is not around, you're gonna die no matter what. Yeah, I concur. I mean, not maybe not no armor at all, but well, you yeah, know, but. I don't know, iron armor or something. Well, that's what I was thinking. Even if there's just some base armor, yeah, I would say not no armor, but really that person is not certainly not going to be uh, in any kind of a decked out position because you're you're the squish, you're the squishy. The sponge runner is a squish. You're you're like a mage or something, you know. You're the delicate one who's going to get uh, their butt kicked. Yeah, and then if we can if we can like stick to it and support the ceiling with with um, support beams then we could have people break down the support beams behind the sponge runner and that way no one can get at him without digging yeah which will make it impossible are you uh in a safe position by the way running through the night right now why do you no, 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 you're fine. I was just, like, making sure you're not being completely and utterly in a dangerous spot distracted by me. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to go Mastered ahead. Mastered the art of running and talking. <laughs> <laughs> you are a better man than I am, good sir. 